Hello Scorpio, this is Elisa and this is Heart of Inspiration and I'm here for your June 2019 general reading. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising. So if for some reason the Sun uh, reading does not, is not fit your Sun sign, does not resonate with it, please feel free to check out the Moon and Rising signs. I'll have the rest of them up shortly. Um, if you're, this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for being here. Um, also, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. And when you do, as my existing subscribers, thank you already know, you will be entered when you comment on the video and become a subscriber, you will be entered into a drawing for a $100 Amazon gift card for May. If you're catching this in June, I'm sure there's another subscriber giveaway. Just check it out down in the description you will still be entered okay let's get into this reading um let me make sure because i see that I didn't quite have all of these cards quite lined up as i would like but we're gonna go with it um overall energies for you guys uh for the month of june which is another which is we're halfway through the year this is the halfway mark it's the pivotal moment in our time okay in our year all right, Serenity. Guys, I have some patience. Okay, Scorpio, have some patience. Um, lots of meditation, please. Lots of meditation. Um, however, you're really you're very much on your life purpose. And this month, you're really going to have that sense of there's something more. There's something big. There's something out there. And I need to grab it, right? And I need to go do what I'm supposed to do. Like your transformation game is really going to be kind of on point. Um, you're just going to be like, I got to do this new thing, right? And you're going to know that it's the right new thing. Or just an updated from the existing. Um, you'll also, in June, with the Seven of Crystals, begin to see some um, movement, positive movement. Um, in those directions um, and with the general sense that the with the three of wands that your ship is coming in um, but uh, also with the queen of cups which is my card uh, cancer which is interesting because we also have the chariot with this page with this queen of cups I also feel like uh, you're gonna be a lot more compassionate towards others than normal but most importantly more compassionate towards yourself Dirty little secret we don't like to talk about, right? Okay, so we're going to be using for our primary deck uh, this month, as most months, we're going to be using the uh, Star Child Tarot. So coming into, and then um, to clarify, we're using the Mythic Tarot, Mystic Mythic Tarot, excuse me. Um, we're using, uh, so coming in is the Ace of, Wa Ace of Swords. Wow, I'm so sorry, Scorpio. Holy cats. Uh, wow, okay, new ways. Yep, thank you. Uh, new ways of thinking, of talking, of acting, a new narrative about your life, um, a new angle, new wisdom, and with the moon to anchor this down to clarify this. Deep, deep Piscean knowing type knowledge. June is uh, an informational month. And the information that we're getting is meant to change our very existence, our very how we operate in this third dimensional existence, Scorpio. It is deep spiritual. If you're awakened, it is a deep spiritual knowing and knowledge. And with the Knight of Swords, you're going, this is going to be swift. This information that if you're open to hearing from your ancestors, your spirit guides from the heavens, from the angels, you'll get it. You'll get it a lot. The, the downloads are going to be hot and heavy. You're bringing to the table a page of crystals energy. I like that because it's grounded. And I love the fact that which the with the page of crystals in this illustration, look, her crown is illuminated. Her crown chakra is illuminated. How wonderful is that? So while we're ha while we're having this these Ace of Swords energy, right? We're having the Ace of Swords energy. Our crown chakra being illuminated, Scorpio trine. Our crown chakra being illuminated is fantastic. 
uh, with Three of Pentacles, more grounded energy, partnerships coming about that are going to help you along your way, help you come up with, uh, this is also, June is also um, a time for, with Venus, trining the moon um, and uh, Saturn, your money. Your money, Scorpio, your money fantastic earth energy trined up with the beloved moon with intuition and right oh my gosh seriously have the faith because that them you, if you've been working on a project or something like that uh, more people are going to come alongside you and be able to work with you you please accept their help Ooh. and uh relationships you know venus also represents relationships with the two of cups this is what i'm seeing with that two of cups Whomever is coming to work with you is meant to work with you on a soulmate level. We have different types of soulmates. They're not all romantic. However, if you're looking for a, if you are open to a relationship and you're ready for one and this is what you want, it could be also coming in as well. A lot of earth energy, so this person is very stable, not flighty, not all that craziness. Someone you can trust, someone you can really kind of, you know, hold on to. Yes? Uh, that you don't have to worry about them being unfaithful. They're truly a partner. So this is really good energy. And I feel you are ready for this because this is what you're bringing to the table. So you really are ready for a soulmate connection in whatever realm it is you're focused on, your intention is focused on. So whatever your intention is focused on, beloveds, that's what's going to grow. Whatever you put your attention and your intention towards grows. And so this is a really, and, and you're going to get the new way to do it, like a new download and a truth like this. What's going to ring for you this month is that everything that's coming to you is so true and it's what you've always known. And it's just bolstering that belief. It's like, I've always known this about myself. And now finally the universe is really uh, making it happen. So that's the energy of June for you that I'm getting. What could be potentially an issue? Need I say more? The Knight of Crystals, which is the Knight of Pentacles. And what's going to help you, need I say more, is Chariot Energy. Let's get a little bit more clarification on the Knight of Pentacles, of Crystals. Um, that's being super careful. Now, with the Star Child Tarot, It's not being so careful, like, you know, with the regular Rider weight, it's like, you're just kind of moseying along, not really galloping fast on the, um, on the horse. This one, um, he's kind of holding this crystal very cautiously, very carefully, but he's like protecting it. Cause he's not quite sure to get it, let it yet, whether or not it's supposed to manifest. You can't close your legs and stop the birth. Okay? Wanting, seeking balance. There's a lot of earth energy here in your reading. A lot. Which, uh, you know, you're being, this June, you're not going to be moving as quickly um, and as decisively, I think, as you normally would. And there could be some confusion. This is why with the Seven of Cups. This is why we've got the, the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, all of this information is coming at you hot and heavy over here with the Ace of Swords, um, the Moon, and the Knight of Swords. It's coming at you hot and heavy. I mean, quick. And you know you want to move and work with it, but you really want to make the right decision. So there's some confusion as to, am I hearing it correctly? Um, and that has a lot to do with like where, where Pluto is, I think for this month as well. Um, but tap into that moon child power, especially at the beginning of this month, Scorpio, with the moon being in Gemini, tap into this, that moon child energy that I'm just going to have the faith not knowing that I'm, that's, I think, believe why the charity is here being the card of the, of cancer. Um, 
that's going to help you. You know, when we make a decision, we, we go with it. Um, it's a well thought out decision, but it's a decision nonetheless. So, um, I can really see you don't let with this nine of swords and the chariot don't let don't don't let this need to um, move keep you up at night don't worry be happy if I were to uh, if I were reading reversals I would say that I get that in a reverse energy this you know don't be tormented by see that this person is being tormented by those evil fairies and in the next scene in the ten of swords then artemis um, athena protects <coughs> our young lad from the fairies and from their torment and the torturous thought patterns um, and the, the untruths, this is the thing that we've been programmed to, b to believe we're going to fail. And then, so now we have to unprogram or reprogram ourselves to believe that we can succeed and have what we wish. And, and, and that is the struggle that you're in, right? That you're going to be in, in June. Can I really have what I want? Is it really just as easy? Yeah, it is. It really is. It is just that easy, Scorpio. And here we have Queen of Cups. If you don't tap into the, the Cancerian energy of, it is. I've got great compassion. You know what I mean? And and there's just this gratitude, <coughs> great compassion, very trusting. Very trusting. So if you could put a little bit of your FBI and CIA and NCIS hat down and be a little bit more trusting of this partnership that's coming because the partnership is good. And and for some of you, it's going to be multiple people on multiple fronts helping in multiple areas of your life. For others of you, it's going to be a romantic partner that's also going to, to turn out to be a quite the good business partner as well. Um, and then um, outcome or advice. Let's see why the Seven of Wands is here. I don't have complete clarity on that just yet we also have the wheel we also have the nine of cups okay set your boundaries you're good at that uh with the wheel and the nine of cups the more you are self-loving the more you are self-assured the more you keep the faith and set the boundaries that you're not with the seven of wands that you're not going to allow anyone or anything to come in and derail you from receiving that which you know is yours that you're not going to let anyone or old thought patterns or old programs keep you from receiving your manifestation. Um, let me tell you something. People mean well. Our families mean well. Our loved ones mean well. However, if they're stuck in old thinking, if they haven't awakened what can happen is that they can stop and block our manifestation and sometimes you just gotta be out there and just be on your own and walk that walk solo but you have partners they're just not familial partners potentially most likely they're most likely partners that come from the outside but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't feel this sense of satisfaction and happiness because the wheel is turning in your favor. Be patient. Fight for what you... Fight for it. Okay? Fight for what you want. And really, you're probably... What you're fighting is your own... Your own history, your own ego. And reprogramming yourself 
to saying, okay, look, you know, sometimes Scorpios, I don't think you give yourself enough credit for being as intuitive as you are. You know you are intuitive because you're a water sign. And you know that your trines on either side of you, your Cancerian sisters and your Piscean brothers, and red sisters on both sides, you know what I'm saying? Brothers and sisters. You know that we have these, like, gifts of intuition, but sometimes I think you don't give, honor your intuitive nature enough. Or it's always got to be so darn practical that you you can't, kinda, like, let it be fuzzy and flowy and fun. Um, go with the flow. There, you had a lot of Cancerian cards, including the Chariot. Go with the flow, like a Cancer does this month. Move with some additional compassion and understanding. Trust a little easier, and allow for your the Piscean aspect, the discernment to come. Oh, yeah, maybe I can't really trust that person. But this one, yeah. Trust your gut. It, I mean, trust, you know, trust your higher self. It's telling you truth. It's telling you truth. It's telling you truth. Okay, I'm going to pull a couple of Isis Oracle cards for you guys. Please do remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. Um, and when you do, you'll be entered into my monthly subscriber giveaway, which for me is a $100 Amazon gift card. I get no idea what you was going to be in. Oh. Wonderful. Okay, I was asked to pull to the Divine Sun Child, Blessings of the Sun Falcon. We're all discovering these together. And then Pillar of Light, Descendant, Descent of the Star of Isis. So I'm going to quickly read these. First, the Divine Sun Child. Blessings of the Sun Falcon, the Divine Sun Child, Horus, mm. Son of Isis and Osiris. Flow into you now, beloved initiate. It is time to allow your life to flourish without limits, to let your light burn bright without veil, just like the midsummer sun burning without contest in the Egyptian desert. Blessings of the sun fal falcon herald the time when your divine legacy is being born. It is your time to burn bright. Isn't that beautiful? Coming into that partnership, coming, remember I said the overall energy just feels like I was born for this, right? I just don't, I'm not sure, but I just, I know I gotta go. And it's like, you know, you just have to move towards your life purpose. Horus, the divine sun child of, Osir of Isis and Osiris, was born out of impossible circumstances through the great devotion of his mother, Isis, and her loving determination to heal her husband and bring him back to life to eventually become king of Egypt, defeating dark forces that would seek to destroy him and all that he loved with great triumph it is the it is the story of the divine hero of egypt it is also a metaphor for our inner world our divine feminine must stay true to her values of love healing and the triumph of creativity over destruction born of fear and hate she must never give up her belief and her ideals our divine feminine is our body whether man or woman our inner values and the ideals that make our hearts beat stronger and feel right within our belly. With such love for her inner divine masculine, she never gives up on her belief in him either and her desire for their togetherness. It leads to his healing even if he has been lost, fragmented and thought dead. The divine masculine is our spirit, whether man or woman, and our body desires to unite with and help it come to life with it and help it come to life and light and a new and blissful way the love in our hearts calls our spirit home into our bodies 
we become able to stand firm, take action, and make choices that allow our inner ideals to become part of our world. We live according to our values, not just hold them inside of ourselves. So I take from that basically that, you know, this divine child was born of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And, you know, the story, of course, you can look that up and, re and research that. But basically, you know, there's a line in the in, a, in an Adele song, um, next time I'll be greater, I'll be my own savior. That that coming together to divine masculine and feminine then brings to get, brings it into a divine child, right? It consummates and then bears a divine child. That divine child is us, right? Walking through life. Um, uh, enlightened and knowing um, and also walking through this existence um, understanding who we are and because we understand who we are because we understand the divinity of which we are from which we are created and of which we are we then have the ability to walk as divine creatures in this existence not needing to hold on to past archaic outdated thought processes. Okay, let me continue. Pillar of light, the descent of a descent of the star of Isis. Beings of light and divinity are calling you now. They wish to connect with you more strongly, the ace of swords, and you are being guided to strengthen your energy field to allow more divine light that seeks you to flow through that seeks you to flow through your body safely and into expression so this is taking care of your body doing more meditation to uh, uh, being sure that your body is ready to handle the energy that is being brought into you and through you and the light that you are needing to bear at this point every time we get downloads every time we ascend Every time we grow, every time we do any of this, our body, it takes a toll on our body if we're not getting in shape or we're not in shape. Trust me, I know. All right, Scorpio, I've kept you long enough. Thank you so very much for being with me again. Please do consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And comment, please, on this video. Let me know how it resonates with you. Um, when you do, uh, when you are a subscriber and you comment, you will also be entered into my subscriber monthly giveaway if you wish to work with me you can visit my website at heartofinspiration.net ever all that information is on the description box below as well as my facebook twitter and instagram peace love blessings and joy be unto you today tomorrow and for all eternity i love you so much